Hello, Ben Smith from the Really Mobile Project here. Welcome to my hotel bedroom in Budapest where we are with Nokia filming some uh, viral videos that are going to be coming out soon for the N900. That's uh, what I'm filming this on right now, the Nokia N97 Mini and the uh, Nokia Booklet 3G which I have in front of me. So come and take a look. There we go, there's the booklet, just as an aside. There's the, uh, there's the Samsung NC10 for reference, oh, and it's got a, uh, a Samsung Galaxy on it as well, and there's a Mini Gorilla, but we'll be coming back to those. So, there were some questions asked about the speed of the booklet, because it has been, I think, just a little bit slow. So I've got some videos uh, lined up just to test. So, if we just come in a bit closer, the first video that we have here is of a HD YouTube video of our most recent a video on the site, so I'm just going to play that to demonstrate the performance. Now I've pre-cached all of these videos just so that the hotel's dodgy Wi-Fi doesn't interrupt things, so uh, that shouldn't uh, that shouldn't have any impact here. So this is the performance of HD video uh, being played back on a Nokia Booklet 3G. Hello, my name's James Watley, and I'm Dan Lane, and you're watching the Really Mobile Project. <laughs> This week we have footage from Stuttgart from Nokia World 2009, that's right, in fact, hold on, yep, that's right, we can now go straight over to Vicky and Ben, who well, are in Stuttgart for Nokia. Let's just uh, turn that off so you can see that that is quite jerky and uh, not very usable, so let's just quickly flip over and see, um, here is an HD video streamed from Vimeo, apologies for the uh, blurriness, it's uh, poor lighting in here, so let's just play that, this is HD streamed from Vimeo also pre-cached. Hello and welcome to the Really Mobile Project. My name is Dan Lane and we are here at the Land Rover Experience. This is the Land So as you can see again uh, better than YouTube but still quite choppy. It plays uh, earlier through a more animated sequence and although the sound is normally quite good the video does get quite choppy so I think um, both Vimeo and YouTube HD is going to be a no. Let's just look at standard definition. So this is um, another one of our videos um, this is the standard def version on the YouTube site. Hi, my name is Vicky Chowney and you're watching the Really Mobile Project. <laughs> right guys, we've had our first letter in. Uh, dear Really Mobile... So you can see that's quite good. It struggles with uh, full frame motion and stutters a little bit, but otherwise that's fairly viewable. I've watched quite a few YouTube videos and I'd say standard def is the way to go. Uh, just for completeness, let's just have a quick look at a Vimeo uh, movie, which is also pre-cached. All of these are pre-cached. Uh, this is Vimeo with the HD turned off. Um, so here we go. Hello and welcome to the Really Mobile Project. My name is Dan Lane and in this show I'm going to be talking to you about the brand new Ocado iPhone application. For those of you not familiar with the Ocado service, it's an online supermarket that allows you to order your groceries through a web browser. Again, that's actually slightly jerkier than YouTube, but again, still fairly viewable. So overall, in, a, in response to uh, people's questions, I'd say that the, uh, the Nokia Booklet 3G is a little bit underpowered in the old processor department. It's also only got one gig of RAM, which isn't upgradable. Uh, so probably no high def streaming or flash movies for you. However, I don't know what local uh, HD content's like. We'll have to have a play later. Just one last thing before I go as well. Um, I don't know if you want to look down at the thing. You see the little blue flashing light there? That is the Wi-Fi light. Now, earlier I thought that that was just uh, flashing because we were just downloading data because I've been pre-caching all of those movies, but it's still going. I've checked. There's no apps that should be downloading data, and I've checked all the background processes and updates as well, and uh, they're all turned off. So I think that blue flashing light means I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network. I've been working on this uh, netbook now for about two hours, just doing email and general surfing and things like that, and it's just beginning to annoy me because it's always in my eye line. So that's something I suspect... Uh, a lot of people are going to want to turn off as well if possible, can't find any options on that. Bit of a shame uh, to have to put sticky tape over what is otherwise quite an attractive device. Um, this really does feel Mac quality, the keyboard is excellent. The touchpad and uh, buttons aren't particularly excellent, but the, uh, the build quality on this aluminium case is really nice, it's really slim, and if you want a reference point, it just feels like a Mac all over. Windows 7 is nice too, but again, a little bit hamstrung by the performance. 
Anyway, I hope that was useful. Uh, there's loads and loads of footage from all the stuff that we're doing going up here, and obviously soon my starring role as man drinking water next to a water cooler in the viral videos will also be up. So keep watching, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this useful clip.